ABCD is a rectangle and EFGH is a trapezium. All measurements are in centimetres and the perimeters of these two shapes are the same. And the aim of the question is that we need to work out the area of the rectangle. And this is for five marks. So it's quite a big question. So we need to work through this logically, step by step. So first, I'm going to take a look at both these shapes. Now, a key bit of information that we get given first in the question is that the perimeters of the two shapes are the same. You get the perimeter by adding up the lengths of all the sides of the shape. And that works the same for the rectangle here and also for the trapezium here. You add up all these lengths to get the perimeter. And the fact that this has x's in it doesn't matter for the minute. We can still add them up. So that's what we're going to do. So firstly, the perimeter of the trapezium. So we're just going to add up all the lengths of the sides. So we've got x minus 3 plus 5x plus 7x minus 3 plus 5x. And we can do what's called collecting like terms. So anywhere where we see an x, we can collect them all together. Anywhere where we see a constant, so without an x, we can bring them together as well. So starting with the x's, we've got 1x plus 5x plus 7x plus 5x. Adding that up, that gives us 18x. And then for the constants, we've got minus 3, minus 3. So it's going to be minus 6. Fantastic. Now we're going to move on to the rectangle. Now look up at the diagram, we can see that we don't actually have a length for these two sides. However, using the properties of a rectangle, we know that this length is the same as this, and this length is the same as this. So I can actually write those on now so we don't forget. So that size 4x and this is 3x plus 4. So we've got all the information we need to work out the perimeter. So in the same way as before, we're going to add it all up. So we've got 3x plus 4 plus 4x plus 3x plus 4 plus 4x. And again, like we did last time, we're going to collect like terms. So we've got 3x plus 4x plus 3x plus 4x. So that gives us 14x. And now the constants, we've got 4 plus 4. So it's going to be plus 8. Now we're told that the two shapes have the same perimeter. Therefore, what we can do is we can say, well, it's going to mean both of these are equal because both the perimeters are the same. So we're going to say 18x minus 6 equals 14x plus 8. So now what we've got is an equation that we can solve. Okay, so the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to add 6 to both sides. I add 6 here and add 6 here. That gives us 18x equals 14x. And 8 plus 6 is 14, so plus 14. Now I'm going to subtract 14x from both sides. On the left hand side, we're going to be left with 4x. On the right hand side, we're going to have no x's left and just 14. Now, finally, to solve the equation, we need to get x by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So that gives us x equals, I'm going to write it as a fraction. So we've got 14 divided by 4. And if we put that into the calculator, we'll get that that is equal to 3.5. So now we can move on to answering the question. And the question says we need to work out the area of the rectangle. Now for a rectangle, we've got an equation for the area. So the area equals the length multiplied by width. And what it means by this is, so this side here is the length, and this side here is the width. So we've got to do 4x multiplied by 3x plus 4. What's fantastic is in the previous um, bit of work, we worked out that x equals 3.5. So we're going to replace x with 3.5. So hopefully you'll see what I mean in a minute. We're going to have the area equals length, which is 3, multiplied by x. But I'm going to replace that with 3.5 plus 4. And that's going to be multiplied by the width, 4, multiplied by 3.5. So I'm going to work that out step by step. So first, we're going to work out what's inside both these brackets. So 3 multiplied by 3.5. Is 10.5 and we still got plus 4 here and that's multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3.5 14 now this bracket first we've got 10.5 plus 4 which is 14.5 and that's multiplied by this bracket here so 14 and put that into the calculator we get the final answer of 203 remember because it's an area and we know all the lengths are in centimeters we can put the units as centimeters squared so last but not least, we're going to write that in the answer box, 203 centimetres squared. 
So we get the first mark um, for doing our working to work out the perimeters like this. So realizing we have to add up all the sides. We get the second mark here for realizing because the perimeters are the same, we can set them both equal to each other. We got a third mark for then solving this equation to get x equals 3.5. We get a fourth mark for starting to work out the area and realizing that we can replace x with 3.5. And we get the last mark for the correct answer of 203.